The PV Parity Project aims to contribute to the achievement of further PV penetration in the EU electricity market and to the attainment of PV competitiveness at the lowest possible price for the community. The PV industry is now progressing towards price competitiveness with conventional energy. Photovoltaic is cost competitive and can compete with the electricity production from traditional energy sources. Over the past two years, a group of researchers have worked together to understand what grid parity means and how it can be reached. So the concept of grid parity is simply the moment where PV produced by your electricity system is cheaper than the electricity that you can buy from the grid. There are several key parameters that influence competitiveness. One is the evolution of the price of electricity. So we have to know that the price of electricity prices from the electrical grid will increase in the future. Of course, the most important parameter is the level of solar resources. The more sun you have, the better your production will be. But next to that, you have also to take into account the cost of financing. And it has a major impact on the cost of your photovoltaic electricity that you will produce. Another is the evolution of the PV system cost, which has been continuously decreasing in the last decades and is expected to further decrease in the future. So from one side we have the prices from the grid increasing, from the other side the price of PV electricity decreasing, and this is really an advantage for the photovoltaic technologies. The PV Parity Project analyzed roadmaps to competitiveness of solar electricity in 11 European countries and several market segments, including residential, commercial and large producers. We developed a simulation tool, it's called Mitras, it's like a Roman sun god that users can employ to calculate PV competitiveness by simply factoring in certain key parameters. The results of the project show that competitiveness is already a reality in a number of countries and could be achieved throughout Europe by 2020. Today, photovoltaic power covers about 3% of the European electricity demand, and the European Photovoltaic Industry Association has projected that by 2030, PV could cover as much as 15% of European demand. One needs to look at the financial impact of the electricity system upgrade that would be required to accommodate a large deployment of PV in Europe. This would entail several cost elements that must be considered in expanding the system. First, the backup cost to ensure electricity is produced during peaks of demand when solar production is low is the major component of the PV integration cost. This cost is expected to be a maximum of 14 euros per megawatt hour in Northern Europe and much lower in the South. The second major component is the additional distribution network needed to reinforce the grid. The additional distribution network cost for photovoltaics is the second largest uh, cost component and it is about up to nine euro per megawatt hour but at the very high penetration of PV. At the low penetration, the cost is also relatively small. Another cost element that needs to be considered is the cost of transmission at the EU level. The transmission cost of photovoltaics is only about 0.5 euro per megawatt hour up to 2.8 euro per megawatt hour. So it is also still relatively small. One final important cost component is balancing, which enables PV providers to compensate for the variable nature of photovoltaic electricity. And we found that the cost of balancing of photovoltaic is relatively small. Even if we increase the install capacity of photovoltaics in Europe up to 10 times than the current capacity, the cost of balancing is only about 110 cents euro per kilowatt hour output of PV. In the past decade, the deployment of PV in Europe has been mainly facilitated by feed-in tariffs or similar schemes. Many countries were surprised by the dynamics of PV and they failed, in some cases, to adapt the level of financial support in due time. We have to readjust the existing support schemes and integrate new alternative incentives as self-consumption or net metering. Some countries have done this already and we can see by a best practice approach that, especially for small users, this can be a real valuable solution. It's important to constitute the right to self-consume. It is also important to look at the positive benefits that photovoltaics are generating for the whole community, which are not integrated into the price of electricity that we're paying. The first thing that you'll find 
if you do a complete environmental impact assessment, is that the environmental and health impact of PV is only about 5% of conventional electricity. So 95% of the pollution, toxicity, water effects, land effects are saved with PV. Solar electricity is clean, and producing it in the Middle East and Northern Africa, where solar resources are immense, and exporting it to Europe could make sense. The analysis says that uh, the so-called parity will be achieved between MENA countries and European wholesale prices between 2020 and 2026. However, with the additional costs of transporting electricity to Europe and the need to build new lines, it won't be until 2030 that such an option could be envisaged. Until then, Solar energy will continue to develop in the Mediterranean region to help meet the growing local demand. Electricity markets have been created to remunerate electricity producers, but they have been created originally to remunerate nuclear, coal, gas and hydro energy producers. And now are coming variable sources of electricity. So we have to think about new ways to adapt electricity markets in order to better integrate high shares of variable renewable energy sources, wind and PV, and to let them develop in the best way. Renewable energies, with solar PV playing a major role, are stepping up to cleanly meet Europe's energy demands. PV is an increasingly competitive choice in many regions, and the number of installations continues to grow. With PV providing an ever greater share of electricity, Policies are needed to address challenges with upgrading grid infrastructures and revamping energy markets. With the right framework, renewables will continue to increase their presence in the European electricity mix, while maintaining the stability and reliability of the power system at a minimal cost. We need power. We need electricity. And for our future, we need renewable energies. Solar Energy and the PV Parity Project